Thanks so much for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Nearly 48 hours after a woman was shot and killed at a house party, neighbors are opening up about the problems they've seen at that very home. 22-year-old Graciela Gomez died late Saturday night on the east side of town. No arrest had been made yet. Madison Kimbrough speaking with neighbors tonight. She's live at Metro headquarters with more. A community tonight mourning the loss of a friend. Now an outpour of posts on Twitter asking anyone for information, for help, and um, asking that if you know anything to please come forward. A house party gone wrong as 22-year-old Graciela Gomez was shot and killed Sunday in a drive-by shooting. Two others were injured and taken to UMC. Neighbors in this Sunrise Manor neighborhood say parties like this go down every weekend, and it has to stop. There have been so many cars that we can't even get into our own house. Lots and lots of kids, uh, clouds of marijuana, speeding, racing up and down the highway here, uh, fights, drunkenness. I mean, it's just crazy. Unfortunately, it takes a level of this kind of magnitude to actually get the neighbors to come together and say, it's just time to stop. According to Jones, the owner doesn't live at the home, but rents it out for parties and is fully aware of the disruption it causes to the neighborhood. She's been very defensive. She said, you know, um, shootings happen all the time. It's not a big deal. I mean, that's the attitude, and, and it just pissed people off. According to Metro Police, a group of men who initially weren't allowed in the party drove by some time later and fired shots, hitting three people, and then sped off. I saw everyone running out. After that, you know, we see the little one of the girls that got hurt or shot. Um, they were trying to give her CPR, and you know, they were saying maybe she will not make it. Now, we reached out to several people who knew Gomez but have yet to hear back. Now, the two people that were sent to the hospital were with non life threatening injuries. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, live local now.